deep on the plains of this African savanna, you find some of the most remarkable people in the world. The Maasai people of Kenya and Tanzania live in one of the harshest environments on the earth. There are so many things that can kill you out here. Wild weather, poisonous insects, ferocious beasts, just to name a few. These nomadic people live on the plains where lions and cheetahs, leopards and buffaloes and elephants roam freely. They are shepherds and warriors, ever on the lookout to protect their families and their flocks. The Maasai warriors are some of the bravest people on earth. Many of them, armed with only swords and spears, have slayed lions and hyenas in order to protect their families and their flocks from attack. These shepherd warriors never leave home without their shuka and their sword and spear. These are the weapons they use against the lions that may come their way. If a lion approaches, the Maasai warrior will take his shuka and wrap it around his left hand. As the lion leaps, the warrior gives his hand to the lion's mouth, for a bitten hand is better than a bitten head. But the shuka neutralizes the bite, and as the lion is occupied with the warrior's left hand, he is then taken down with the Maasai sword or spear in the right hand. As they face the lion, the Maasai warrior shows no fear. This is what makes them some of the bravest warriors in the world. I found it very interesting that the shuka colors are normally red with trimmings of blue, sometimes purple. In the Bible, a covering is a symbol of righteousness. Red, which is the color of blood, represents mercy and sacrifice. Blue, the color of the law, represents justice and righteousness. And then when you blend red and blue together, you get the royal color of purple. So every day that the Messiah warrior faces the dangers on the morrow, they are covered with the mercy, sacrifice, righteousness, and justice of the Lord. These are the attributes that make them a part of the royal family of heaven. The red, blue, and purple shuka can easily be seen from miles away across the brown backdrop of the African savanna. Over the centuries, it seems that the lions have been imprinted with an innate fear whenever they see the bright shuka of the Messiah warrior. The Maasai Shuka also serves as a source of warmth by night, shade by day, and a place to sit and rest in their journey. This special covering is the peculiar mark of the Maasai, also serving as their passport when traveling between Kenya and Tanzania. As I spent time with these amazing people and learned of the importance of this beautiful African covering, it shouted to me of the beautiful plan of salvation. For just like the Maasai, Jesus, the Son of God, came to this world as a shepherd. He came to rescue his flock from the ravenous lion that is seeking to devour us with deception. He came to lead us beside green pastures of grace and the still waters of love. But he also came as a warrior, covered in a shook of mercy and justice. He came with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, to slay the satanic lion. With an it is written, he conquered the tempter's bite. He is the great warrior shepherd that shows us how to fight the battles of the Lord. But then, at Calvary's cross, he was stripped of his shuka, and he received the mortal wound from the lion's bite. He was stripped of his shuka that we might be clothed in the righteous covering of God. This is our passport to heaven, for through his death, we have the guarantee of life evermore. For soon and very soon, this warrior king will return in the clouds of heaven clothed in a shuka dipped in blood, with eyes of fire, a crown on his head, a sword in his mouth. He's coming to slay the lion once and for all. And just as a shepherd gathers his flock, the heavenly warrior shepherd will gather his people and bring them to the evergreen pastures above. My friend, you may not be a Maasai warrior, but God calls you to be a spiritual warrior for him. Remember that the weapons of this spiritual warfare are not carnal, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. God's kingdom is not of this world. In this spiritual battle, we must fight the good fight of faith with the sword of truth and the shuka of righteousness. And as we do, God promises that we shall tread down the lion and the serpent under our feet. Satan's bite will have no power over us. For Jesus, who is the ultimate warrior, will lead us to final victory at last. We cannot lose when Jesus we choose. So choose him as your warrior shepherd and allow him to cover you with his righteous shuka today.